What's going on everyone? Welcome back for Being a Dick Let's Play. Let's keep going. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. So we're here in Bella's doing a little free roam. So let's start off by talking with Dad. So what will be this year? What do you mean? Ah, uh, you reached that age to not be excited about birthdays anymore? You're already planning it. Oh, no, it's not that. I've just been swamped lately. Uh, you're already planning it? Already? I think I'm cutting it too close. So what do you wish for? I uh, don't have to give me something for me. It's not to come back and see you. Money. Uh, sure. I miss you too, but it's not a birthday a gift. I'll think I so hard about it. Oh, before I forget, you still get mail to my address. I guess the postal service are lagging behind. So it's mostly been junk mail. Do you... But you did receive an important letter. Uh, you can open it for me. I'm ashamed to say I already did. I didn't want to bother you with it if it wasn't important. It's a letter you should read in person. Should I be worried? No, not at all. But it's important. It's about your mother. Don't worry, we'll talk about it when you come home. Oh boy. What about her? Hang on, your son. Your birthday isn't that far off. There's nothing to worry about. Have a nice Sunday. Talk to you soon. Love you, Dad. Ow. And Sage. Don't call me at night like that. Sorry, I thought you were up. Or so, uh, okay, I won't. Okay, I won't. That doesn't mean you can't call me. Just not when I'm sleeping. That was important anyways. I want to chat a bit, that's all. Uh, how am I supposed to know? Stop using logic when I'm angry. <laughs> uh, why are you angry? Because I'm tired and need my coffee fix. I better get the day started. Talk to you later. Okay. <laughs> we don't care about you anyways, that's fine. Alright, so we got that done. Um, so now we got our little free roam here. Oh, our tasks are to talk to Jill and talk to Bella. Uh, so let's go do that. Alright, so I'm not so like that's per usual with free roams like this where you wander around the house. I'm not gonna show you myself just wandering around. Uh, sometimes I get lost pretty easy. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna skip all that stuff. I'm just gonna show you the stuff that actually matters. So if you click on Jill here, you do end the free room. So you don't wanna do that yet. You should wanna click on these paint cans. Looks like Bella is planning to paint the picket fence. Could stay and help her with that. And help. I'll do it before leaving. There we go. So that triggers something. So we'll do that later. Uh, so now let's go back. All right, so you go to the kitchen. We have Bella here, who is optional. We gotta talk to her. Morning, Bella. Making breakfast? Yes, I'm assuming you want coffee. Slept well? Yeah, cut's more comfortable than you think. Do you need help? No, go ahead and join Jill. She's by the pool. Alright, so talking to Bella is optional. You don't really need to do it. So we're going to talk to Jill now and end the free room. Morning, Keith. Hey, good morning. Well, Bella's still in the kitchen. I want to ask you something about her. What's the deal with her husband? Oh, wow. Um, I, uh... Why are you asking me about this? I get the feeling that I can't ask her about it. She's not at home. She wears her wedding ring, and I saw her wedding picture in her bedroom, so I got curious. You were in her bedroom? Listen, I don't know how close you are, but I think you're right. You shouldn't ask her about it. Come on, give me something. You can trust me not to tell anyone. I'm sorry, but I can't do this to her. And I don't think I can make you understand this without telling you things I shouldn't. Okay, another thing then. I know it might sound stupid, but what's with the locked room? What locked room? The one next to her bedroom. Is it locked? Yes. I haven't been here a lot, but it's locked. I know that it shouldn't matter, but yesterday she got awkward when we were standing next to it. Now that I think of it, it's not the first time either. I think you're reading into things. Okay, so I could ask her about that? I... Keith, what are you trying to do exactly? I don't understand what you're going for. Cut her some slack and let her have some privacy, okay? I'm just trying to understand, understand her better. This isn't the way to do it. <sighs> Forget I asked. It reminds me of that Friends episode when Monica had like that locked closet and she wouldn't show anyone. Happy's <laughs> ready. Great, thanks. It's a bit cloudy today. They will. They say it will rain next week. I'm gonna miss the summer. You don't like fall or winter? Now I hate it. It's too cold. You can't do anything fun outdoors. You can do a lot of things outdoors. You can go hiking in the fall or skiing in the winter. 
Then afterward, you cuddle up in front of a fire. No, it's freezing outdoors, and indoors you curse the heater. Showers don't get warm enough, and you feel any draft from poor insulation. <laughs> oh, maybe this winter will be different for you. Maybe. They'll have to fix the broken windows in the house, if that's going to happen. You're moving in there? It's been my plan since day one. They have this old library there that I have my eyes on. A library is a dorm? Sounds nicer than it is. The windows are broken, and it's a total mess. I'm talking about ruined furniture and wallpaper, and there are books and debris everywhere. It's going to take a lot of effort to clean it, let alone repair the damages. Do you have to stay there? You could apply for another dorm. Yeah, I could. If I'd done that from the start, I might have had a place to call my own. I'm not giving up this easy now. I'm heading over there today to talk to them. Sounds like a plan for the day. How about you, Jill? I need to talk to Tybalt. That's it for today. But not in a rush or anything, if you wanted to do something. My plans include yoga and finish painting the inside of the picket fence today. But you don't have to stay and help with that. I won't say no to yoga, but I didn't bring any clothes for it, and I'd rather not sweat in these. I'll find you something to wear. How about you? Feeling up for it? Sure, why not? I can use some exercise today. Drink your coffee for his cold. <laughs> Morning! That's allowed. You too? Good, then I don't have to feel bad for spending the day on the couch. Is it weird that I feel more hungover from that party than any other normal party? Not really. Think about it. Last night, you had to drink to have fun. You're probably down a few extra because of it. With the party of the dicks, you don't. Speaking of them, did you hear about the Hell Week misunderstanding? Yeah, I'm glad I don't have to deal with that fallout. Let me guess. You saw Keith at the party? Yeah, don't remind me. Do you get why we had to be there? I mean, I know we got paid for it, but do we really need it? More sisters mean that we need a higher income. Yeah, but doesn't that scale with the fundraising work we already do? That's too much math for a Sunday, Heather. But what about the fees we pay? They should cover a lot. Hey, don't look at me. This is Sage's idea. I don't agree with it. We shouldn't talk like that. Who am I going to bitch to it about then? Six new sisters are going to live here with us. It's going to get way too crowded. And what was that party really... Oh, and was that really a one-time deal? St. Joseph has made such bad decisions lately. I think the stress of being a senior is starting to affect her leadership. She should just pass the torch already. And she's all messed up. <laughs> so, how to put a cut in there? Um, unfortunately, Quinn is, you know, topless, so I can't really show anything. Uh, so basically... She's told that Mona quit and won't be doing it anymore. Uh, and she's concerned about whether or not Mona's going to spill the secrets about what they do, quote unquote. Hey, did you see where I put my gym clothes? I took the liberty to wash them for you. You did? That's nice of you. You're welcome. So how am I supposed to join you for yoga? I've got nothing to wear. Right here. I'll find both of you something. <laughs> This wasn't well thought out for either of us. Agree or joke? Uh, joke. Worst comes to worst, you could do no yoga naked. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Bill would love that idea. There you go. I hope they fit. That's a face. This is some pretty old clothes. Take it or leave it. What about me? Follow me. I have something old you can wear too. Why not something new or keep quiet? Uh, you wanna just keep quiet. <laughs> These are male clothes. They probably belong to her husband. The shirt is too short. It's pretty worn out, but the shorts fit. They're still changing in the yoga fits. I can wait for them in the home gym. You can peek or not peek. Uh, we're going to take a quick peek. Unfortunately, I won't be able to sh probably show you. Alrighty. Uh, it doesn't show nudity, but it's probably a little too sexual for YouTube. I'll probably get flagged for it. This is going to be fun. Though, I hope Bella isn't too bossy as she was last time. Sorry for keeping waiting. What we got? Typical. No, oh, it's not the straight up and down pan, at least. A little bit of variance there. Bella almost looks like she's smiling. <laughs> hey, those clothes did fit. Compliment them. The shirt is too short. 
And yeah, you just want to uh, compliment them. Looks like yours did too. And Bella is beautiful as always. Are you done? All right, let's do some yoga. How do we do this? Let's take turns using the yoga mat. You two can start with the yoga balls. Okay, what do we do with them? I'll show you. Hey, why is this ball cut in half? You can do push-ups with it, and it's great for balance training. Here, sit on this ball. All right, then what? Keep your feet in place and start pivoting your body. Hold the position. Can you feel how your buttocks are engaged? Joke or take it seriously. Uh, Joke. This is a butt ball? I thought it was for yoga. <laughs> Stop being silly. Just do that and change the position every 30 seconds. Looking good, Bella. Don't forget to breathe. She's very flexible. Yeah, I know. I try my best, but I'm nowhere near as flexible as she is. <laughs> I'm just uh, not going to comment on that one. Can you do those positions that she's doing? Pretty much, but not as well. Bella usually gives me pointers of what I need to improve. Time to change position, Keith. Pivot to the other side. Perfect. I like that. Um, what's that position? That's a bridge pose. Since when do bridges air hump? <laughs> Didn't I tell you stop that? She's doing dynamic yoga. Sure. Back to the other side. Pivot. Oh, get some Ross flashbacks. My buttocks are feeling it for sure. Look at Bella or don't look at Bella. Uh, we're 100% going to look at Bella. You seem to be more focused on Bella than your exercise. No, I'm watching her to learn new poses. If you say so. Jill, you're up. All right. You can sit on the butt ball with Keith. <laughs> butt ball? The stupid joke. But balls are great for your butt, huh? What? These yoga balls, they're great. My butt's already sore. I'm happy that your butt is sore. <laughs> peek a Jill or don't peek. Uh, we're going to peek a Jill, I guess. Take a look too. Okay, I should focus. You can do other exercises with them too. Lay down on it and I'm facing the floor. Okay, like this. Yes, but spread your legs. Joke or spread your legs. Uh, this is Bella, so we're just gonna do what she says. <laughs> Done. Now, lift one leg and hold it as long as you can while keeping balance. This is a core exercise, right? Correct. Keep alternating your legs. Bella, how does this look? Just a quick cut. Um, kind of see some nips. Okay, let's switch. Take a breather. Look at Bella, look at Jill, or don't look. Uh, look at Jill. Very, very bendy. Uh, let's see. Let's do closer. Get ready for a switch, Jill. Okay, I'll do one more exercise. The closer or focus. We're just going to focus with them. Phew. Okay, I'm done. Yeet, you're up. I wouldn't know to start. Someone's gonna help me. Have to help me, right? Let's see you do the downward facing dog. Start by laying down flat on the ground with your hands along your side. <laughs> I didn't know planking was a yoga position. You learn something new every day. Put your fingertips in line with the center of your chest and press up on all fours. Choke or don't choke. Uh, let's not joke. Okay. Tuck your toes and lift your hips straight up towards the ceiling. Keep your knees straight and slowly pace, place your heels on the floor. Excuse me, guys. That's it. Now you're doing the downward facing dog. Joke or my legs hurt. <laughs> uh, my legs hurt. Oof, it's tricky. My legs hurt. Good. That means you're doing it correctly. How about your arms? They're starting to hurt too. Keep that pose for a bit. When you're done, you can go back to all fours and then transition into the upward facing dog. That's the pose you already know from before. How's it going? Very ugh, good. Keep your abs flexed. <laughs> I am. He's doing good, isn't he? For a beginner, yes. 
How was your date? <laughs> Do you want to know about it? I'm going to ask you, but I didn't find the time for it. If I had, we wouldn't have had that altercation last night. So, oh, I'm asking you now. How was it? It was, um... Very good. You're blushing. No, I'm not. You are. He is... Very sweet. <laughs> good. Okay, time for some yoga pair poses. No? Wow, that looks painful. It's not painful if your muscles are warmed up and you take it slow. Closer or don't look closer. Uh, sure. Very good, Jill. Breathe. Yeah, I don't know. This looks too advanced for me. I think you'll be able to do it. Very likes feeling, Jill. They're getting used to the pain. Let's keep this pose for a little while longer. Do you want to try it, Keith? Try it with Jill, try it with Bella, or decline. Ooh, who do you want to try it with? Jill or Bella? Um, who do I care about more? <laughs> I'm going to go with Bella. You promise to go easy on me. Come, sit down. We'll take it slowly. Give me your hand. There you go. <laughs> What's next? Bella? Oh! Put your feet against mine. Like that. Bella? Yes, like that. Then what? Uh, press your feet and against mine. Okay, starting to hurt a little bit. Good. Now very gently, lean in and touch my forehead with yours. If it hurts too much, don't go all the way. Ugh, oh, yeah, this hurts. You're doing great. Keep it a little, little while longer. <laughs> Good. That's all there is to it. Good workout. You two did great. Thanks. It was fun. It's way different than how I usually train, but it felt good. I'm not fully done yet. I still need to train some more balance. Go ahead. I'm heating up the sauna. Feel free to join me afterward. Thanks. If I don't think I will. If you change your mind. You'll find a fresh. You'll find fresh towels by the shower. Sauna with Bella. Yoga with Jill. Shower and freshen up. Ooh, another choice to pick one. Now, if the person who watched the first Let's Play I did for my Patreon is actually watching this series right now, uh, it's probably going to be upset with me because I kind of got... I was the same thing. I was pretty heavy in the Jill. And then because I was also with Sage, I had to kind of pick one at one point and I went with Sage. So I didn't progress with Jill. I guess I, because of doing the dick path, uh, it kind of wasn't really far enough in, I guess. It's just, yeah, it's stupid. Um, so I'm going to pick Bella here. Uh, I'm not sure how it's going to affect things later on, because I know I'm putting extra points into Bella instead of Jill. So again, I may shoot myself in the foot. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Bella this time. Sana sounds great. I'll join you. This sun is hot. Isn't that the point, though? That's the same. It's the same with ice cream. You know, how it's really cold. <laughs> there are towels outside if you want one. Okay. The times I've been in a sauna, I've always worn swim trunks anyways. It's your choice, but you just exercise in those trunks. Uh, gonna get sweaty anyways. What's the difference? I can get sweaty in here anyway. <sighs> this is relaxing. What a luxury to have a sauna and a pool in your home. Yeah, it's a very nice home. How long have you lived here? 10 years, something like that. A long time. Me and my dad have lived in this, his house since I was a kid. Does it feel strange to move away for college? Yeah, sorta. It's a big change, that's for sure. I do miss living with him, but it also feels like I've gotten more freedom now that I've moved out. I remember that feeling. My parents and I were fighting constantly before I moved out. As soon as I left, our relationship changed for the better. We stopped fighting about petty things, and we could just be happy whenever we got a chance to see each other. That sounds nice. Where do they live? They used to live here, in this house. But they are gone now. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's fine. My dad and I never fought that much, except for martial arts. <laughs> yeah, that's a different kind of fighting. 
I guess the one big thing that's different now is I don't have to worry about him catching me doing stuff in the shower. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> what? Nothing. Make a move or leave. Now, I'm going to make a move on her. Uh, if there are things that happen here, um, I'm obviously not going to be able to show that. So, this will be the end of the episode. So I'm going to say goodbye now. And if something doesn't happen and I can show it, I'll add it to the beginning of the next... It'll be the beginning of the next episode. But if something does happen, the next episode will start after that scene. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.